Okay, four card oracle, you pick one, two, three, four, and uh, hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Hey, thanks a lot for tuning in. So this will be four cards. So you'll pick one, two, three, or four. Uh, they'll, I'll put them face down, then reveal them one at a time. It'll be a yes, no, or maybe answer for four questions. One question, two questions, however many you want to ask. And then when that's done, I'll do a, a six card diet uh, cross uh, divination for each of those four cards so to get deeper into your I issue. So. You'll hear me say it a lot. For me, this is like looking out the window to see what the weather's like before you go out and start your day. Kind of give you a little, a little foretelling, a little um, uh, information about how to conduct things today. And, or if it's at the end of the day, this could uh, clarify uh, why things happened. Uh, so you know, just use it for uh, information, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Get yourself settled in. Maybe get a glass of water. Uh, get your questions really set in your mind, and uh, we'll start. So, Golden Universal Tarot. These are great cards. This is another Los Scarabio. Uh, like I say, it must be a sweatshop of let's make tarot cards back at that place. Um, the guidebook is just your typical couple languages, uh, not too tiny to read, which is what I'm concerned with, but nothing, <coughs> um, you know, astounding uh, revealed in that. But the cards are really great, and of course, what's what's neat about them is that they're kind of gilded. You know what? Let me turn off the main light that I've got here in the room because I think. It sheds a little uh, too much uh, shine on these cards, but uh, you can see that they're pretty much the typical Rider weight depictions just uh, gilded and golded up and uh, really make them interesting uh, to look at and After all if you're looking at tarot cards every day uh, No matter why whether you're looking at readings or whether you're doing the readings, you know If you can shake it up with something that's a little interesting to look at I think that's great and of course, like I always say, I lay them out like this for two reasons. One, it's an interesting way to get your cards mixed up and shuffled. And if you're working with someone else, you can let them do this and kind of get their energy in the cards. And But the most important reason for me is because when I was just watching uh, the videos, I like to see uh, what the cards look like. Um, and you never got the chance to do that. So here they are, Golden Universal Tarot, uh, Los Scarabio. Love these cards. Okay, four card oracle. One, two, three, four. Get your questions ready. We're going to be yes, no, or maybe once we reveal these cards. And then in the end, I'll do a six card a diet cross for each one, two, three, and four. So we'll go deeper into your question and maybe get some more direction or some explanation that way. Okay, so four cards one, two, three, and four. All right. Put these off to the side for just a minute. Now, this is where you're going to take a minute and decide which card or cards are going to work for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And remember, you can stop the tape to take a minute if you need to to decide what cards are uh, good for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So now we'll take uh, these three, put them to the side. Going to do the reveal for number one if that's what you chose. And uh, these are the lovers. This is number six in the Major Arcana. So this is, you know, uh, a good way into the fool's journey. And the lovers tell us that uh, partnerships are what's key here. Finding a true, um, uh, if not a person, then a, a, a system or uh, the knowledge or some sort of a companion to what this is that you need to do. And this is a nice, nice yes card. Okay, so the uh, lovers is a signifier or the uh, answer to your question, yes, with with a lot of, um, of meaning in there, okay? If you chose number two, then we've got the six of wands. You know, wands are actions, uh, plans, moving forward. This is celebratory. This is a very strong yes card. And so this uh, knight is telling us that yes, I have confidently won the show. So you can feel like if this is what you're going to do, you can say yes and feel like, yes, I made a nice, confident decision in doing that. 
Number three, if that's the card that you chose, okay, this is the Page of Cups. Uh, cups are emotions, compassion, um, you know, very heartfelt situations. This little fish jumping out of the cup tells us there could be a surprise involved here. And the fact that it's the Page that's bringing us this message, you know, he's the weakest of the court cards. He's the fellow who just brings something to the court and says, well, uh, here, here, I got this. Do you want to do something with it? So this is a... a a, a, a compassion, an emotional, a passionate situation, but it's just the beginning with maybe a little bit of surprise in there. So this is also a yes card, but uh, there's some caution uh, there and some building to be done on it. We chose number four. Okay, we've got the eight of cups. Again, cups, compassion, uh, heartfelt. And this uh, fellow in this eight of cups, he's had to turn away from these cups. And they're all in perfectly good condition. So he's had to leave something behind to go forward uh, uh, and, and, and find success somewhere else. So, yeah, this is a yes card. Feel okay about walking away from this security um, uh, and, and make a move into the direction that you need to go. So that's the four cards we have there. All yeses, all good, positive um, uh, situations. The uh, lovers find the right companion, uh, either a person or a situation or information to get this done. Feel confident in the decision that you're making. Go about this one with a little bit of caution, but know that there's promise and there could be some surprise in there, surprise in there for you. And this one, you know, feel okay about turning away from something that seems, you know, very uh, emotionally attaching to you uh, because there's something more that you'll need to find out as you go on that journey. But we start out with the number one card as our signifier, the lovers. This is a yes card, and this is finding a true, true companion to the situation that you uh, are involved in. Okay, so we're going to shuffle these up nicely, and we'll take five out of here to finish this, to make a dyadic cross, to finish this divination for you. So we have, let's go all the way here, one, two, I want to go back here, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to let this rest over here and work on this energy. And see, what's the challenge to this really heartfelt uh, union? Well, it's it's a nice challenge. So this is the Ace of Cups. So we have, uh, again, emotion, compassion, heartfelt, really uh, a valuable uh, situation being offered up, almost divinely offered up. So, yeah, finding this uh, companion this isn't even really a challenge. This should, is almost going to be offered up to you, and you need to recognize it uh, when that uh, the other part of what this is, uh, is is there to complete that. The base of this reading then, ah, with this uh, uh, Three of Swords, Swords are uh, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. This fellow is heartbroken. This is heartbreak. And so this is telling you that there may have been something that's happened to cause you so, you know, a really to stand back from something again. It almost reminds me of, of a loving situation where maybe you had your heart broken, but there's an, uh, the reason this happened is because there's someone here who really is being offered up to you. But it may not be a love situation that you deal with. It could just be a very a heartfelt situation. In the past of this reading, with this Knight of Swords, so swords, truth, justice, rules, law, again, the knight is the fellow who's going to get this thing done. So we almost come into this uh, issue with a, a mission, okay? A mission of this is going to happen. And sometimes that can make you overrun something that's important. You can get past uh, and not notice something that's uh, important that's going to uh, contribute to your success. In the sky of this reading, with this temperance, um, or the star, I'm sorry, with the star, this is, you know, you're good. it's going to be um, just a shining star of a situation. There's going to be emotion, there's going to be grounding, uh, there's going to be, um, it, it's, it's worthwhile to aim for everything that you want this to be. And then the um, likely outcome of this for you then, with this three of coins, is building something together for public display. You know, the coins are value, they could be money, but they're typically uh, some sort of a value. And you have the artist in here, you have the consultant, you have a religious leader, you have people looking forward towards getting this thing done and, and making it beautiful and perfect for everybody to see. It almost does sound like a romantic situation, heartbroken. Uh, it started out here with the, the lovers. Okay, finding the other half, the other part of what it is to make this decision right. It's being offered up. You just have to recognize it, and it should almost be glaringly obvious. You may have come into this with some uh, trepidation, but uh, don't uh, be so uh, worried about getting through this issue that you don't take a minute to recognize what's in front of you, and it'll be worthwhile uh, when it's done, and you'll have something that you're very, very proud for the world to see. Okay, so that's the number one card. That's what you chose. So now we'll go on to the second one. 
of these four cards. Get your question right in the forefront of your mind. And the signifier for that one, for number two, is the six of wands, actions, plans, motions, moving forward, celebratory situation. Okay, this is, is telling us that, yeah, we could do this. You know, it'll be fine. It'll be better than fine. It'll be exactly uh, what it should be. But we do want to find out what's the challenge to that. So let's lay these out, get five cards out of here, and find out what's the challenge to that uh, that celebratory Six of Wands celebration. Okay. Oh. Okay. Put these over to work on that. And the challenge to the Six of Wands is an ah. Don't tell me all these cards are inverted. Let me look at that. They are all inverted. I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell you that this is a mistake because I can't read five inverted cards. I've just done this uh, incorrectly. I'm gonna take a peek just to make sure that I'm right. Yeah, these are, are not inverted cards. This should have been like this. I picked them up incorrectly and you just have to trust me that I can't go forward with a reading with those the way they were. So this is a celebratory Six of Wands. Uh, the challenge to that is this fool. Okay, so this is the beginning of a journey. This is uh, striking off with confidence, but not particularly paying attention to where you're going. So you hope your intuition and uh, the rebirth and that you've got everything that you need on this journey. Um, so the challenge to this celebratory situation may be uh, to realize that this is just the beginning, as a matter of fact. The basis of this reading with this great big ace of wands, wands are actions, uh, plans, and this is a strong, almost divine uh, plan that we come into this thing with. The um, past to this reading with this um, uh, priestess, high priestess, is uh, recognize, recognizing, maybe you do recognize already, that you've got all the um, uh, knowledge that you need, you have the authority to move forward, and you have the wisdom to use that uh, knowledge and authority wisely, appropriately. And the sky of this reading, is the Nine of Pentacles. You know, the Pentacles are value, they can be money, but they're usually worth. And uh, this tells us that this uh, is this woman in this uh, picture right here is just loaded with value. She has so much that she's even got the, the latest version of the day, a little falcon. That you, Who needs that, you know? And she's dressed so beautifully. And so she's really got everything she's worth. That's what we want to aim for. Once we have this celebration, our aim should be to make it just the very best it can be. And the likely outcome of this whole thing ah, is a, a decision that has to be made. Going forward one way the other and uh, you have to understand that truth justice rules law which is that's what swords are for me you can't make a wrong decision you can make a better decision or a less effective decision but it's all moving forward so to read again you've got the six of wands which is celebrations challenged by this new journey underpinned by a big motion forward you know this is going to happen you have the you should have the confidence to know that you can make the right decisions aim for the sky with this and know that uh, this decision is probably going to lead to even another decision uh, in a bit and it won't matter that that's the case either way you go is going to be moving your journey uh, towards uh, its natural conclusion okay so let's go on to the third card that's uh, a card that you chose and see what we can tell with a signifier of this page of cups page of cups a little surprise in that compassionate that passion so yeah my cards are upside down that's my issue Okay. Page of Cups is a signifier of just the beginnings of an emotional, compassionate situation. So, uh, five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we'll work on that. And then we'll move forward. The challenge to this page, this beginning of this uh, situation is, oh, secrets being revealed. Very good. So the moon card is telling us that there's something's going to come out of the darkness. It's going to be revealed to us. We're going to notice it. That it's, it's, you know, it's crawling and it's creeping into our consciousness. <coughs> so this moon card is the challenge to, to just the beginning. So just the beginning could be these uh, issues starting to learn about what, what does this involve? What's involved in this? The basis of this reading, wow, is the inverted uh, Two of Swords. As you may know, I'm not comfortable with my inverted uh, definitions, but if it comes up this way and I've done my best, then we have to read it that way. This way, though, this would mean that there's a decision to be made, and it is a repeat card, so it's telling us, you know, that this is... Um, 
uh, the, the cards are paying attention and they're making me read inverted cards. So this truth, justice, rules, law, and making a choice. When it's this way, I'm going to say the choice is less clear. Um, and it can make it will be important as to which way we're going to go with this. So we've been uncertain about that choice, really almost to a fault. The past of this reading with the six of coins, this is distributing the wealth. This is, could be money, but it is more likely some sort of value. It could be knowledge, but uh, we come into this with uh, almost being the arbiter of this value, decide, being the one who's going to decide where it goes one way or the other. Okay, in the sky of this reading. We have the Nine of Swords. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, and this is a nightmare. This person is suffering over this issue, this decision, but and uh, so we have to understand that um, this is a very real concern for this situation that you're considering. And then the likely outcome of this, another inverted card, but I have to take it. Okay, so if this were this way, this is the Three of Pentacles, putting something together for public display. Pentacles are value, worth, money. and But this way, I'm going to say that... Um, and again, I've got to really dig for this definition. This card like this is making me uh, want to say that um, this may not be something that's going to be seen by everybody. Okay, It'll definitely be a collaboration. There could be some confusion in that. But this might come together to be something that not everybody needs to see. Oh, very interesting. So to read it again, just because of these inverted cards, this page is bringing forward a little cup of compassion with a surprise. It's challenged by all the secrets that could be revealed. The choice may not be clear. We have been the arbiter of this value in the past. It, it can be a nightmare if we're not careful about what we do. And it may be this isn't quite so obvious, but it will be something that's out there that can be seen if, um, if, if, some, if people want to. Okay, and I'm sorry I'm not more confident about those inverted cards, but that's just that's who you got on this channel, unfortunately. So if you choose the fourth card, then we're going to see what's the signifier for this dyadic cross, and this is the Eight of Cups, walking away for some emotional um, wealth. It's perfectly good, but realizing that there's something else uh, a little bit down the road that we need to pay attention to. Okay, so we're going to take uh, five cards. This is one. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're done with these for now. They've given us their all. The signifier for this, then, well, the challenge to that, again, inverted card, you have the cards have determined that I'm going to uh, get comfortable with my inverted uh, uh, div divinations. So, uh, the challenge to that, if this were this way, this is a great big offering of compassion. Like this, I'm going to tell you that the compassion isn't uh, isn't really there. That um, this may seem uh, like a compassionate issue, but it's not particularly, and so we need to be cautious on this journey. In the base of this reading, with this Ten of Cups, so we had this familial uh, wealth, this almost, this almost uh, over abundance of joy and emotion and happiness in this family-like situation that we had been involved in. In the past of this reading, with this Eight of Swords, is that there's somehow uh, truth, justice, rules, and law, and there's some sort of feeling uh, uh, being trapped in there. The binds feel a little too tight, but we have to realize that with all this clothing, all this uh, extra um, baggage that she has, she can wiggle out of this and find her way forward. But uh, it doesn't always seem that way. In the sky of this reading, ah, the full uh, in inverted. So this way, this means this is a new journey, getting started, throwing caution to the wind. And this can mean that we're kind of repeating that. We're kind of stuck in a cycle. And uh, and we need to uh, make sure that uh, we're not afraid to move forward. And we don't keep coming back to say, well, should I leave? Should I leave? Should I leave? Yes, you do. And then the final outcome for this, with this three uh, of the major arcana, this empress, is Listen, you, the Empress is fruitful. She's almost like Mother Nature. You have everything you need to make this thing happen. So don't let these uh, cautions keep you from moving forward, because in the end, it will be exactly uh, what you're supposed to do. And you can believe that as soon as I turn off that camera, I'm going to make sure all those cards are not inverted. So I hope that was useful for you um, today. Okay, that was the one, two, three, four uh, card oracle with Diet Across Finishes. I hope it was useful to you. Maybe if it didn't mean something to you, it might apply to something, uh, someone that you care about. You know, often uh, the card that you pick uh, is one thing, but you may see something in one of the other cards that you could say, well, that'll be useful for whomever. So I hope that worked out. And if it did uh, ring true for you, that's fine. Just uh, set it aside. Maybe look at it later. Or, you know, we spent some time together. And that's always good. 
Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.